it's Becca with Middle Magic Travel and I'm going to be going over your perfect park bag today. So to get started, I like to make sure I have my wallet. This one I find is super convenient. It just snaps closed. Your cards are in there, easy to pull out and just easy to get out in and out of your bag. It's going to be those face masks. So make sure you bring an extra because if it gets dirty or wet, you're going to want to change it out and you have to have a mask on at all times unless stationary, eating or drinking. Next is going to be your portable charger. So this is the fuel rod. It is sold throughout the Disney parks. It's one for 30, two for 60 or three for 90. It is interchangeable. So um, once it dies, you're able to take it back to the machine that you purchased or a different one located throughout the parks and swap it out for a fully charged one. I find it very convenient and you can bring it back your next trip and so on. Awesome. I think it's worth the money for sure. Next is going to be those sunglasses. Make sure you have your sunglasses. You don't want to forget those. It's going to be some glow sticks. So I purchased these either at Target, the dollar store, Amazon. Um, I bring these that way at nighttime, my kids can have them. Next is gonna be <coughs> your pin trading. So make sure you have your lanyard and your pins for pin trading. If you don't know what pin trading is, leave me a comment in the comment section and I'll be happy to answer it for you. Um, our family loves to collect the pins and trade. So definitely this is a must for us. Next is gonna be my glasses and contact solution. So I wear contacts. So just in case um, I get a tear, get something in my eyes, I have these for backup. Next is going to be in my hand sanitizer. So I bring the hand sanitizer. It's not needed. I just like to have it in my bag. Disney is really good. They have stations located throughout the parks at the end of each ride. So you're able to put some on. Um, so you don't necessarily have to have this in your bag. I just prefer to have some. So I have it if need. Next, your magic band. Do not forget your magic band. Make sure you have this with you either on your wrist or in your bag, but make sure you have this before headed to the park. Scrunchies, um, I like to bring extra just in case I usually throw my hair up, especially if we're going on Space Mountain, Splash Mountain, something like that. Um, sometimes they break, so you just wanna have extras just in case. Make sure you bring your sunscreen with you. I just bought this small little container so it fits well in my backpack. And then also make sure you have that lip protection as well. Right now it's not so much with COVID because you do have the masks on for most of the day, but I know before, like during the hot summer days, without those masks, your lips can get really chapped. So it's really good to have this with you. Next is your ibuprofen, Tylenol, pain relief. Um, I like to pack it in my bag. It's not a necessity. Disney does have first aid centers located at each park. So if you are in need of some kind of pain medicine, something along the lines of that and it is there for you so it's not a necessity to have in your bag i just personally like to have it so i have it on hand next is your cooling towel this one's from target and um, it gets very hot so you want to have something to help cool you off whether it be a cooling towel a misting fan something just make sure you have something with you in your backpack for that i love to have these good to clean your hands off after that mickey ice cream bar and um, just to have wiped down a table that you're sitting at um just anything like that, it's awesome to have these there for you. Next is gonna be your insulated water bottle. I like to bring this because you can get free water at any counter service uh, restaurant. So getting that, you can pour it in and take it with you. Um, it keeps it cool and it just clips right onto your backpack. Next is gonna be your ears. Make sure you have those ears with you, either your ears or your hat. Um, I go back and forth depending if it's gonna be rainy, I like to bring my hat and then I like to bring extra socks if I'm wearing tennis shoes because again, if it rains, you wanna be able to change your socks out. You don't want wet socks all day. It's miserable, it's not fun. So I pack an extra gallon Ziploc baggie that I can put my wet socks in, wet clothes, something like that. Um, that way it's not in my backpack wet. And then last but not least, it's gonna be your rain poncho. So this one's actually a rain jacket from Amazon. I store it in a gallon Ziploc bag that way it's compact in there i can squeeze all the air out and then once it's used and the rain has passed because usually florida showers are pretty quick you can store it back in the ziploc bag and not get your bag wet that pretty much sums it up if you have any questions just leave a comment in the comment section and i'll be happy to answer it for you thank you